Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Hello, welcome. We will continue fault tree analysis. Today, our discussion point is importance measures. So, what I will do? I will start with a example. That example is our so the pressure tank system, and we will develop the fault tree for this system already. Uh, we have seen it and then with reference to fault, uh, that pressure tank system, the, there are different basic events. So, what is the contribution of the basic events in realizing the top event for a fault tree? So, by importance measures, we want to say that given a fault tree, given a fault tree, There, there, there are there, there definitely there will definitely be definitely be several basic events. And you can develop several several cut set also. By cut set, we mean that that is a set of the basic events which, if occur, the top event will occur. Now, let us know that the top event the contribution of basic events to top events means if there are suppose k number of basic events k number of basic events so you may be interested to know which of these basic events is having the maximum contribution in realizing the top event or which of the cut sets having the maximum contribution in realizing the basic events. So, this is basically talks about the importance. So, what will happen if we know the importance? We will take necessary care and it also gives us the opportunity to, to rank the basic events in terms of occurrence of the top event. And then you will take necessary action uh, according to the rank of their contribution. So, that means the, the one which is contributing the maximum for the top event to occur, you, you put barrier so that uh, that failure will not take place. So, uh, the importance measures as such the fault tree development also, it is manually interactable. What do I mean that manually cumbersome? So, when you have a system which is uh, sufficiently large enough and you must rely on uh, some software for developing the fault tree. So, RAM commander is uh, one such software which basically helps in developing fault tree and analyzing the fault tree in terms of uh, finding out the top event probability given the bottom event probability finding out the um, your uh, importance major finding out cut set so so that ram commander uh, can be used so we will sh will show you that with the, with reference to the pressure tank system so that uh, the result obtained uh, using fault tree uh, result obtained using fault tree and uh, through through ram commander so by saying this we are not saying that the ram commander is the 
solution to fault tree analysis only because there are many softwares available uh, which can be used, but have, uh, uh, we have RAM commander, we have used this one. So, let us see one after another. So, this I should not discuss further because I have discussed it several times that this is our example and I also said to you all that we have taken this example from the book written by Komamoto and Henle, probabilistic risk assessment for engineer and scientists. So, if you if you purchase this book or if you have access to this book, then definitely what will happen the many of the tools and techniques and the concept what I am teaching to you, you, you will re revisit all those things to in the book and ultimately your, your understanding will be more clear, but I will try my level best to clarify the things and I hope that uh, if you go through uh, some standard literature not necessarily the same book but standard literature on it and then it will be beneficial to you. So, as you know that there is a tank and the your pumping system. So, we want to suppose we are interested to know the fault tree analysis of this system where the top event, top event is tank rupture. Okay. So, you see that is what we have developed here and I have taken this from this book it is already developed there. So, pressure tank rupture this is the system level mishap or accident you do not want this rupture to take place. So, as a result you want to know what are the reasons of pressure tank rupture and wh what are the basic events that alone or in combination contributing to the pressure tank rupture. So, first one is the pressure tank itself, this is the primary cause. So, I have explained to you that PSC concept primary, secondary and common failure. This if the suppose the tank itself because of over uh, because of usage over the year there can be wear, tear and there can be corrosion and other issues. So, ultimately what will happen the tank itself may fail even within the desired pressure level that is for which it is intended. But this is related to the, the tank itself. Now, second one is that uh, there is secondary tank failure. What I told you earlier that secondary failure tank failure means something which is basically that some excessive stress and other things which are caused by uh, maybe neighboring component and others, but whose um, actual uh, region uh, may not be further explored um, at this point it is underdeveloped event. So, essentially we will be interested to we will be going through by P and C that is primary and common failure. Now, what are the common failure to this? So, as you have seen that the timer is set to a particular time and accordingly the pump will run for that time. So, if, if, if everything goes well, what will happen that uh, ultimately that uh, the pump ceases to work after the desired, uh, uh, desired amount of gas fed into the tank and, and the pressure in the tank will be within the design intent. But it may it may not happen. So that means so that means it may it may so happen that that you you paid more and because of many reasons that is what is basically common. So if there is common failure, then overpressure to tank will occur. Why overpressure to tank will occur? Because pump operates too long. So why pump operates too long? Because current is too long. Now, if current is too long, why current is too long? Because contact are closed too long and switch is closed too long. So, when contacts are closed too long that primary contacts failure, then no command to open contact 
and then secondary failure. So, the in, in using PSC concept, we have found out the final fault tree. The fault tree, what happened? What are the basic event? Basic event B1 is primary tank failure, basic event B2 is primary contact failure, basic event B3 is primary timer failure, then event B4 is primary switch failure, then event B5 operator failure, B6 alarm failure. So, as this I have discussed earlier also. So, now if we if we ignore the secondary failures because we are not in a position to know what is the probability of this as well as this as well as this 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 and this I am putting 0 because we do not know that thing. So, for the time being okay, their probability will be definitely very small uh, almost near about 0 then you ignore it. Uh, otherwise, if you think no that some of the secondary uh, issues are there, then you have to you have to uh, brainstorm within the team and then uh, explore it further. That is what is the uh, general procedure. Now, my question here is that I have I have found that there are six number of basic events. Those so the basic set is now six B one B two b3 b4 b5 and b6 so you may be interested to know that which of these contributing maximum for the tank rupture or already you have seen the cut sets uh, how to compute the cut set so that means which cut set is contributing maximum to the uh, to the uh, top event to occur here we will concentrate uh, on the basic events. Okay. So, then what are the importance measures? There are there, there are many importance measures, and the importance measures are quantitative measures what it does it quantify the contribution of the basic events or the MCS what is MCS minimal cut set to the occurrence of the top event. You have seen earlier that B 1 to B 6 so these are the basic events you want to have a quantitative measure that will tell you what is the contribution of this event in the top event the tank rupture to occur that is what we are saying. Why we should do this? I, I let me explain further. It helps to rank the critical parts and guide in choosing effective actions. Let me go back. What do you see there? What are the critical parts here? Suppose tank is one, contact another one, timer another one, then your uh, price switch then alarm uh, uh, and and uh, so these are the these are the things basically we have considered here okay so now which one of this that contact or your that basically what i mean to say the switch or alarm or tank which which uh, one is the most critical one so, you may be interested to know this that which is the critical part, which are the critical parts. So, you have to take action against failure of those critical parts. So, importance measures are generally, generally time dependent, generally time dependent. So, their relative ranking is applicable within the mission time. What do I mean by this? That that it may so happen that within the set time it will fail then in this case it is basically or much before in particular within this with this example we have a set time this say that pump and I within this it may fail. So, that can be set the mission time uh, here in this particular case may be the success and failure is important, but there may be situation when 
you will not uh, preset the time that how long it will work you continue working with the with that system and accordingly the component also exposed or under under operation and then what will happen the probability of failure of the those events uh, probability of failure of those components or ultimately depend on the time of use so under such situation when you talk about the importance measure then we have to clearly mention the mission time let us see that uh, what are those measures available the major first major is this Birnbaum importance index what it is given to us it given that the probability that the system is in a state where a particular component is critical okay suppose the tank our the pressure tank in the system the system will be under normal state under abnormal state maybe over pressure condition or maybe the rupture condition that is uh, tank rupture so what do we mean to say that the system can be in a particular state given a component is critical means the component may fail so this means that the comp if the component fails the system fail so a uh, system fail here in the sense that system may be under over pressure since tank rupture has taken place something like this so how it is computed the formula is this that importance measure for a particular event bi so bi relates to a particular component so then this is basically del qs by del qy where qs is the system level unavailability and qy is the component level unavailability so the pressure tank system is available or not available if there are something abnormal takes place it is unavailable for example the tank rupture means it is completely unavailable so now the component for example the timer timer may be unavailable under failed state so then the 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 rate the rate is del q s by del q i that is that is what is basically our bring home importance measures so what it talks about it is it measure the rate at which an increase in component unavailability or unreliability affects the increase in the system unavailability or system unre unreliability okay so that mean if this component fails what will happen to the system the rate of increase in component unavailability uh, system unavailability depends on the increase in the system a uh, component unavailability we want to you want to know this then this is basically bring home measure now there are so many basic events so many components so find out this ibi and then for if and accordingly you just rank them which one is having the maximum contribution followed by minimum contribution so if we use this formula then we will be able to find out the comp the component level or event basic event level contribution and the physical meaning is this this one has certain problem because it doesn't depend on the unavailability of the component itself anyhow so let us see with an example now let us concentrate on this i it's a, it's a example without any physical significant meaning i am giving you what we are saying that there is a top event and this top event will take place top event will take place given given one basic event a and another gate that we are basically saying intermediate gate so these two are input and it is there is an end and gate linked to top event now again this intermediate gate this one this intermediate gate that is the or gate it has two inputs event b and event c 
So that means how many events are there? There are three basic events. So with reference to this example, we will explain the bring home measure. Fine. So let uh, assume that the probability of this event occur is 0.3, probability of B event occur is 0.2, probability of C event occur is 0.1. Then using get by get method or cut set method, ultimately you will be able to find out the probability of the top event is this. What is this? Point, uh, 0 0.084. How? This will be this will be that A time multiplied by B uh, this one here B plus C but B will be there and C is there but this gate probability or gate probability you find out using the uh, general normal calculation and then end gate is there this will be multiplied you will be getting like this or you can use cut set method and you will find out this. So, let us let us go by uh, this example and let us see what is happening. Now, what is the system level unavailability? System level unavailability is the system is under fail state when it will be under fail state if A occur, uh, failure occur and B failure occur it will be failed. Similarly, if A and C occur it will be failed because these two are the minimal cut set for this system. So, that means the system will be unable if this as well the and this occur, this occur or this occur. So, that means the collectively what happened the, the union part, this union part this ultimately lead to talks about the system unavailability. So, we have two minimal cut set A B and A C, this with OR gate any one of them will ultimately lead to system unavailable. So, we are denoting by this and union is denoted by plus here. Now, if you if you use the OR gate symbol, you will find out what is A, what is the unavailability of A that is Q A which is nothing but 0 0.3 that is the probability of that event will occur and then Q B similarly then this for A B this is fine for A C Q A into Q C, Q C because A B C they are independent and minus we know that this into this. So, A B into A intersection A B, A A will be A, so it will be A B C, so Q A Q B Q C. Okay. So, what I mean to say this P A B plus A C equal to A intersection B plus B intersection C minus that A B intersection A C. So, then A and A will be A intersection B intersection C. So, if you give probability here you put probability. So, then this one A and B independent P A into P B and now P A is the probability that the C component A is unavailable that is Q A. P B is component is un B component unavailable that is Q B and probability of C is Q C. So, in that sense. So, this is your system probability level failure probability it is known. Now, we will use this equation. So, our equation is Q S equal to this if we take derivative with reference to Q A what will happen? this one will become this q b only derivative of this will be this and derivative of this will be q b into q c. Now, you know q b q c and q b its values are known what is q a q a is 0 0.30 what is q b 0 0.20 what is q c 0 0.10. So, if you put the value here what happened 0 point q b 20 plus 0 0.10 minus 0 0.20 into 0 0.1. So, that means 0 0.30 minus 0 0.02 this result into this quantity. So, the bring home importance measure the basic event A its contribution is this. If it fails the top event failure will be something like this. Now, if we go by B, 
then again you take derivative del qs by del b you will be getting this equation and you put the values like this similarly i c like this so that mean importance wise b a b c 0 0.28 0 0.27 0 0.24 almost they are equal kind of things okay with reference to rate of increase in unavailability of the component component increases that with ref, uh, uh, leads to increase in unavailability of the system that is what we are talking about second important measure is your fv that is fossil vessel importance index so fossil vessel important index it measures the probability it measures the probability that component i contributes to the system failure given that system failure has already occurred i know that system failure has occurred so you want to know what is the contribution of component i so general formula is suppose you have <coughs> for the system level for 3 that you have how many cart state m number of cart states k1 to km and let and the cj is an indicator variable what does it says cj will be 1 equal to 1 if component i belong to mcs kj so you consider a kj a mcs which is kj now in this mcs cut set whether the component ith component that event is there or not whether it is into that set if it is yes then it will be 1 otherwise it will be 0 so if equal to 1 if component i so it means i belongs to kj so then then that measure is like this so it equal to probability that union of indicator variable times that part, uh, that particular mcs divided by system level unavailability now what will happen suppose if out of this m number of cut sets minimal cut set suppose only one cut set contain the uh, component then what will happen that out of this 1 to m only one is applicable the jth one so this sum this will be probability of kj by this okay so let us see with the reference to the example now what is vessel vessel important sum of all mcs containing event i by sum of all mcs so this is my system level unavailability we have seen it now what we will do that fba is probability of this by this now what we are required to know we are interested for a now you see how many cut sets are there two cut sets so a included in both cut sets yes so the sum of all mcs containing i what is this a b and a c by sum of all mcs then this probability and this is nothing but this is nothing but q s so q s system by q system this is one now if we go by the second one that is the b then you see b is in the first cut set not in the second cut set so probability of this by system unavailability value is this similarly c in the second cut set not in the first set value is this so with reference to this example so now what i can say that if the top event occur the which one is maximum con top failure that system fail level failure occur maximum contribution is given by this followed by this followed by this so this is your first level importance so there are few more now like risk reduction or risk decrease factor it is defined as the decrease in the risk when the component is assumed to be optimized or made perfectly reliable suppose for example a suppose we will it will not fail so that means the event probability failure probability will be zero or b it will not fail or c it will not fail 
then what happened if we can made some of the component should not fail then originally whatever the failure was there it will be reduced so that risk is reduced failure risk is reduced so then what is the formula here sum of all mcs divided by sum of all mcs taking into account that the event i probability is zero with reference to this example sum of all mcs is basically probability of this is nothing but q system this is this we know now what we want to know, do now we want to find out for reason for a so what we have to do sum the numerator will be q system what will be the denominator denominator will be sum of all mcs taking into account i that event probability is zero that means what i mean to say that uh, that the q a q a this will be zero because you make it perfectly reliable now if i put q a zero it is becoming infinite in the similar way if i put q b q b zero here then the, the this is the resultant and so the value is 2.8 similarly if we if you make uh, c uh, your um, component c completely reliable then it is 1.4 so that means from this uh, measure we found that if you make the a completely reliable this will not happen because of n and gate is also there because it requires this as this to occur but there for b and c the value is low because even if b will not occur suppose a and c occur top event will occur or a b occur top event will occur so as a result their risk decrease factor is b and c risk decrease factor is lower than a although infinite is it is basically a theoretical value but the physical meaning is that if you make it reliable because of the end combination it will it will the top event will never occur if you can make it completely reliable so risk increase factor that means what happened in the risk decrease factor what we say it is it is the components are completely reliable so if a component is completely reliable what is the reduction if you make reliable in risk increase factor suppose one component is always under failed state so then what is the increase so that one is sum of all mcs taking into account the event probability is 1 event i probability is 1 because it is in failed condition or it is not available by sum of all mcs now sum of all mcs is nothing but the we are saying that q system unavailability of the system then then what happened the in the in the in the numerator what you will do first you make the q a equal to failed means q a equal to 1 if you make q a equal to 1 then this is this one one that is mean q b then it is q c Minus Q B Q C by Q S. This value is 0.833. In the same manner, B and C values are B 0.3.57 and C 3.57. They are these two are same. So what it is saying? That means actually it is basically we are saying that if any of the component unavailable. or under fail state what is the risk increase that been probability of top event that will increase so because of or gate you see that b and c is value b and c is value just what is q a value q a value is 0.30 what is top event value 0.084 so okay it is almost this top event value is this and again okay in both cases qa is coming why suppose qb equal to 1 then qa this qc uh, okay then it is qa and qc qc this equal to b equal to 1 or qc minus qc it is qa part correct now if we see c equal to 0 qa qb 
and that uh, this is 1 that this is QA and QA QB ok this is correct. So, this is what is the the way you will you just see that one hand you are getting that rate of increase of the top level failure given the increase in the compound level failure bring home measure. Then we have come to the first level measure what is the, what what we have discussed in first level measure you see we basically discussed that sum of all MCS containing event by sum of these. So, if, if the contribution of a particular event if, if it is in all the cut states it has the maximum contribution and someone which is having in one or more uh, or some of the cut states then it will be less contribution. So, that importance measures giving you like this. Then this is similar to your bring mom measure also, but risk reduction decrease factor means you make one component perfectly reliable and what is the what is the uh, what will happen to the um, when a system level failure and what is the contribution of this to our system level failure what will happen. And then when another one is basically suppose one is completely unavailable. So, these are the extremes basically we are talking about. But anyhow, there are different measures, these measures will help you to understand the criticality of the parts and accordingly you can take decisions. Now, here uh, we, we are basically we have used RAM commander and we have developed this fault tree and uh, this fault tree can be manually developed also. So, that also we have seen, but thing is that uh, we want to see all the uh, that card sets as well as uh, the importance measures uh, from this because manually uh, computing those importance measures will be uh, difficult in the sense that may not be possible also. So, now see what happened uh, the how many card sets are there 1 is 4 5 then 2 5 4 6 2 6 3 4 2 3 like this. So, how many 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 cut sets are there. Okay. So, so that means what will happen your if I want to know the Q system then definitely you will say 1 plus this 4, 5. So, if I say this is uh, this is cut set 1 that means we are saying that uh, K, K 1. So, that means it is K 1 plus K 2 like this the union part up to k 7 and also you know that they they are end gate. So, ultimately probability that 1 plus 4 5 4 into 5 like this and then what you have to do you have to find out the important measure. So, accordingly in case of bring up find out the derivative and you go on doing this one, but it is really laborious cumbersome. So, what we will do we, we have used this software and we found out the values. Now, let us see what are the values. So, the values unavailability for the first one, second one, this, this one to this six basic events and then what happened uh, that first level measure and the risk reduc reduction, reduction factor and risk increase factor we have computed. Now, if I go by this measure, so which one is the maximum? Maximum is this one followed by this, okay, it is in order of uh, in, in decreasing sequence. So, this is contributing maximum. When I go for RDF also, um, but all are 0 here, but maybe after some 0, some values will be there. But here, if I go risk increase factor, this one 10 to the power 2. Okay, that means this is also contributing. Obviously, the pressure tank uh, failure is once it happen, it completely the tank rupture which take place. So it has definitely the maximum importance. So in by no time you should allow the wear and tear of the pressure tank to such level that it will happen and this tank rupture will take place. Okay, so that is the most critical component of the system what we have discussed so far. So, I hope you have, you have understood the importance measures. So, there are references, three references are given uh, from where we have taken the uh, 
resource material and I hope that you understand the importance of this uh, important measures. So, one is beer mound measure, second one is fossil vessel measure, third one is risk reduction factor, fourth one is risk increase factor and these all are basically to find out the importance relative importance of each or of the cut sets or the basic events and primarily we have discussed from basic events point of view and and accordingly if the, the importance uh, of the basic event or basic event will be ranked in terms of importance when there are huge number of basic events you can use the Pareto plot find out the find out the that this kind of things and maybe few very important means 80 percent of the importance may be from, from few of the basic events and definitely you try to make them as reliable as possible means their availability should be maximum unavailability should be near to zero. So, thank you very much we will meet again in the next class.